Hey guys, we're continuing from settings part one. This is now part two. We left off on GIF number of photos, so you're going to take, um, I like to set it at four photos. It'll take one, two, three, four photos, and then it'll set it up in a GIF, and um, it'll be a series of it just going back and forth and back and forth. Um, so that's a GIF. And then the duration, um, it's 0 .05, sorry, 0 0.5. Um, next is the video duration. How long do you want it to be recording for your video mode? Um, I remember the longer that you keep it, the longer time it takes to process. So um, typically, like for a wedding or a quinceanera or suit 16, I'll do about 10 to 15 seconds. Totally up to you. Like I said, the longer it is, the longer processing time. Um, I typically like to set it at 10 seconds, though. All right. Slow motion recording time. Um, so this is how long it's going to be recording while it's circulating. The, uh, while the, the platform is circulating. Or, sorry, the arm is circulating. <laughs> um, so I typically like to leave this around 4.5 seconds. And that gives me a full video length of 24 seconds. So 4.5 seconds of record time literally gives me a video, final video, of 24 seconds. So that's what the customer is going to be receiving on their phone is a 24 second video. Um, and then it'll ask you, do you want to enable the boomerang? Yes, I do. I want it to bounce back and forth. So that way it's like, oh, in reverse. Oh, back in slow motion. And it's really, really, really cool. Um, so that's that. Um, this is where you're going to add your audio file. We're not going to get into that, but this is where you're going to just literally click on choose audio, select your audio in here, and you'll see it just right here, whatever you named it as. Um, if you want to delete this, delete that. If you want to upload a new one, just hit delete and then choose file and then upload it there. For the tutorial on that, um, it's under the music tab. So just go back and go into another, uh, the music tutorial there. Screen flash, we're not going to use this option. So don't check on that. Under timeouts right here, um, we're not going to do any type of editing on the screen. But if you do, you want to give them a certain amount of seconds. Um, in this case, we're not going to give them that because we just want people to come in, come out, and just keep repeating and doing that because that's what people are paying for is the slow motion and boomerang feature. Okay. Um, next is the sharing. So how long are you going to give them the option to view their video? Um, and how, uh, how long are you going to give them to email, text, airdrop, and all that for that? And typically, I leave this around 10 to 12 seconds, and that will give them that time to do that. After the 12 seconds, it'll literally just bounce back into the slow motion video or, you know, the options so you can choose the, the feature that you want. The thanks feature, I leave this about one to two seconds. It'll just say, thank you for using 360 Photo Booth Expert, um, you know, come again or something like that. So you can either um, leave this from zero seconds. That won't show any thank you. I normally do one to two seconds and I'll just show my logo. I like I said, um... It's all about branding, and you always want to keep your name constantly being repeated until the customers remember you. Um, props, we're not going to enable any type of props, so we're going to leave that at zero. Um, next option is sharing. This gives your customer the option to select how they want to send themselves the photo or the video, right? So you can give them email, Facebook option. They can send through WhatsApp, to text messaging, to Twitter. They can copy it. They can download it to their tablets or computers or whatever. They can airdrop it to their iPhones or they can use a QR scanner to just, you know, easily do it. Just like you were to do it at a, like a, a restaurant. You can scan it and it'll take you straight to the link. And then general, it'll just give you like a link um, where you can just access the, the gallery. We're not going to enable the um, editing screen. In-app gallery. Yes, we do want to give the customers access to take a look at their galleries and their videos at any time that they want. So let's say, for instance, um, we have a three-hour event. In the first 45 minutes, we get some people that just come up and take some pictures and videos, and they forget to send them send it to themselves, right? And then at hour three, they come back, and they're like, hey, you know, can I go back and send myself photos? I totally forgot. Yeah, sure. You can just walk in front of my sharing station, walk in front of your iPhone, um, you can hit gallery and you can literally see every single video you did throughout the night. And then you can go back and email and text airdrop, you know, all of these options to the customer direct. Okay, so definitely select that. The next right here under email, um, under default text, under text messaging, web gallery, and web gallery email and social share description. All of these you'll see in parentheses, it'll say like, um, touch picks um, in like parentheses or brackets just put your company name in there 
you want to brand yourself, like I said before, brand yourself as much as possible. 360 Booth Expert video. When they get an email, a thank you for using 360 Booth Expert. You can find your attached file here. Under text message, thank you for using 360 Booth Expert. Click to view. They'll show you their video. Um, over here under web gallery, 360 Booth Expert gallery. Um, web gallery message, thank you for using 360 Booth Expert. <laughs> so it's pretty, um, it's pretty repetitive, but um, depending on how they send their message, this is the message that they're going to get. So like I said, get your name in there. That way they can remember you. Okay. So easily ed edit that. Props. We're not going to use any props because we want customers to jump on there, do their business, and then jump off and they're done. Now, if you give them the option to do props, you could just literally click on one of these and it'll give you the option to add those. Now, keep in mind, if you add these in there, that means they're going to take up more time um, playing around with it, which you kind of don't want because you want to keep going with the videos, right? Um, but it's totally up to you how you guys want to do it. For us, we don't like to do that. It just takes more time. Um, under branding, you want to put your company name here. Um, again, it's all about branding. Just put your name in there. You don't want it to have touch pics, or if you do, that's totally fine. But I'm, I'm all about, hey, I want to, I want people to remember name, my name. So we'll put that there. I'll also upload my logo there, just so that way they know who it is. Again, a track screen. This is like if you want to do like a digital um video or anything like that this is where you're going to upload those files you can pay somebody on fiverr you can pay somebody inside the the um our private facebook groups to make those animated like oh welcome to so and so's um 360 experience and it'll just have like some flashy little animations and stuff this is where you're going to upload that file if you don't have any totally fine just leave it blank you don't totally you don't need it okay um we don't use it you can see it's empty under app background um this is this will literally just give you the option to like let's say for instance you're using a sharing station right and on the sharing station is like let's say you're doing like a first birthday party and they want the baby's face to be on the actual ipad to make it like branded to that the baby's party so like i did um i did i did a whole separate file on photoshop and i just branded it to the baby i put the baby's face I put the little, um, you know, him taking a bite out of the little, uh, the little cake, um, and then just put the baby's name and first birthday, and then did like a little decor thing. And then once I finished that, I literally exported it as a JPEG, which is a picture, and then just tossed it in here. So just like this, how it says choose file, you can choose that file and it'll drop right there. If you make a mistake, just hit that X and you can just upload a new one. Now, um, this is where you can control like the buttons uh, on your screen. So if, where it says like start it, start slow motion, start boomerang, or start any of those. This is and the text. This is the color how you control it. So typically mine are really light colors. Like this background for this image is like a purple. So I just made it um, black just to pop out. Web gallery. Um, I went ahead and up just uploaded my logo. So that way it's literally in the back. It's all branded to my logo. We are not going to enable uh, motion triggers just in case. Um, you move it i don't want it to start recording so we're not going to use that and we're not using any external screen so i'm not going to disable not uh, enable that once i'm done you click submit and that will literally finalize your entire event now you're ready to go onto your ipad go onto your um your sharing station go onto your iphone and you're going to activate your event and you could actually start you know activate your phone Put your phone on your GoPro and run a session to see all of your settings. Um, and if you like them, perfect. You're ready to start doing an event. If you ever need to go back and make any changes, you're just going to click here on my account, go to events, and then this is where you can go back to the manage and edit your, your settings. So um, just a little recap. Events right over here. Manage, edit. And it'll literally drop you right back into this editing mode. So if you ever want to come back and the customer's like, oh, I want to do photos, add the photo feature in there. So that's it. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, definitely hit the like button. If you have any comments or feedback, we definitely love to know. Hit that little contact um, button, send us a little message. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, hit us up. Thanks again for watching, guys.